West Bengal State Rapid Champion, State Senior Champion, and now her DDDBCA Rating Open Champion. Shubhayan, how does it feel to win this event? Uh, yeah, first of all, thank you. And winning back to back two events is, of course, feeling great. And the previous one was a little bit more precious to me as I scored full point there. And this time also, I was aiming to make the full point, but Okay, I couldn't make it, but okay, the overall ending is quite happy. I won the two tournaments. You were the top seed of this tournament and uh, definitely one of the favourites to win this. So, did you feel any pressure coming into this event? Uh, yes, pressure is of course there due to some rating. Uh, as the new FIDE rules were just the rating system, they changed a lot and that is actually affecting the players. And okay, but anyhow, if I just, I focus that okay i could have just if i play my best chess i could have win all the rounds so i just did my that only and i just aimed at one game at a time and okay which was your best game from this event okay this event i would like to say the game which drew yesterday so that was the best game so i played quite a nice game and due to the, till the end and at last i made a few a mistake and the end, game ended in a draw Okay. Let's take a look at it. Uh, sure. Okay, so it was the eighth round of the tournament, and I was playing with the black pieces, and white was one 1800 opponent from Bihar. Mm. So the game went like he started with c4, and I was a bit confused and checking few of his games. He played a lot of things, so I couldn't prepare much of that as it was the double round. So I just went for some solid line like e5. Knight c3, knight c6, and here he played knight f3. So I played my usual stuff like Dutch kind of structure f5, and here he played d4. I went for e4, and honestly, I don't know the opening much here. So I was expecting him to play maybe knight to g5, something like this, but Okay, he went for d5, which is not a good move because I got a very good equalization in the beginning only. So I captured the knight, he took, I captured fg2, he took this pawn, cd7, queen d7. So in the beginning, all of the pieces got traded and bishop g2. So after this, okay, I was quite happy that at least I got a very good equal position and slowly i can press him a bit so here i was thinking two moves one is c6 and long castle so i did not commit right now the c6 so i went for long castle i didn't want to commit so here he was playing very quick i don't know he was prepared or not but he played quickly bg5 and i went for bishop e7 he captured knight e7 and here my opponent went for yeah long castle so okay this position black is not having any problem i can say other i think white is having one pawn island over here this h2 so on this 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 was my target during the game so i would slowly slowly keep on playing on this pawn and just continue the game so here i went for bishop to e6 he played b3 and here I eventually thought of to play c6 and here my opponent played a little unusual move which I did not expect at all so he went bishop to h3 after few minutes of thinking and here I was a bit confused that what to do right now so somehow he was kind of threatening to play knight e4 and bring the knight into the game like this using the pin so okay i seeing this i just kind of played king to c7 i'll can say a type of profile axis i played 94 kind of stopping it i will simply go back to bishop c8 and the knight after that not having any much square so here my opponent was playing very quick and he's quickly played rook g1 over here attacking my g7 pawn so i was thinking after means during the playing of rook king c7 i was expecting this move and I thought of to play knight g6 here 
but I saw that okay my G6 Knight would be kind of fixed due to this G7 pawn so I did not go for that after playing this move so I went for G6 kind of maintaining my structure solidly so here my opponent captured the rook I captured it back and he played rook to d1 so clearly he was playing for a draw so here I was half point ahead of my opponent so but rating points are very precious mm -hmm. so I continued the game without exchanging I played rook e8 trying to keep one rook in the board so that I can just try to hit attack this pawns later so here my opponent played f4 Okay, trying to fix the pawns in the light square and so that my bishop doesn't get much of the activities but at the same time his bishop is also getting a little passive and he's also kind of threatening to play here directly e4 to push his pawn over e5 and keeping all the pawns in the dark squares so i eventually stopped it by playing bishop to c8 now my opponent played a little unusual move which is rook to d3 yeah. why unusual okay i did not see any point between this move yeah because this rook is not doing anything here i was expecting to play him bishop to g2 because this bishop right now here is completely bad so we should just at least play bishop g2 and try to play h4 and try to fix this side so anytime my h6 g5 can come and rook d3 here i don't see any point clearly and the rook cannot come over here any thing he cannot do much so okay here i try to exploit this move by immediately playing h6 which was my plan i was thinking that okay if i just get h6 g5 and after that this pawn structure what white is right now having the e2 and h2 pawn is kind of bad so my two connected pawns will be very powerful and after f4 means this structure my knight will come on into the game by knight g6 and okay eventually i can just end up trying to attack this pawns directly so after h6 he quickly played rook to g3 i was thinking about this move only but here after means during playing h6 i thought of to rook g3 i will reply back to g5 means it was a little tactical kind of variation f g5 then i can play f4 here rook f3 kind of only move here i have to take it here this and hg5 and here i thought of that okay the knight is coming into the game and my this kind of pawns is really vulnerable so the rook is getting activity so i did not go for this yeah so i thought of to play g5 by rook g8 so this was my plan over here and right now the bad thing is that if here white gets the h4 pawn over here so i think white is doing fine it means white can hold for a draw but the problem is the bishop is stuck in h3 and he cannot play h4 right now my g5 is coming directly so here he played e4 which i was i was wanting at that time moment i captured it he played bishop into c8 so here i made a little bad decision i took it with king which i feel i should have taken with the rook so i was calculating one variation that if i take with the king so i took it with the king only so i was thinking that if i take with the rook then this knight e4 i will play rook to f8 and here i am attacking this pawn so rook f3 is not possible due to g5 so he will lose this pawn so here what i was afraid of that is knight to c5 so he's defending it by little tactically rook f4 is not possible knight e6 is a fork so i have to play maybe rook to f5 and then knight to d3 is defending this pawn so i was a little afraid of this that the king will simply come over e3 and white can hold this for a draw for this reason i went for king to c8 yeah so here the problem is that he took the pawn so i think here the better reply for him maybe is rook to e3 capture it with the rook so the rook will get a little activity and this pawn is not that weak 
so he took quickly with the knight so i played rook to f8 so here the knight c5 is not possible so rook f3 has to be played because my king is on c8 no fourth is coming so again here what i missed is i was thinking that okay g5 i am getting the pawn back but here again white is defending the pawn tactically by f5 again there is one fourth coming on d6 after capturing all the moves but okay anyhow i did not play g5 after seeing that so i tried to maintain again the structure and slowly slowly improve my position i played knight to f5 yeah so i kind of fixed my knight in front of the f4 pawn so that i can slowly improve my position so here white has nothing much to so that he can bring the king only option so he played king to d2 so i also improved my king king to c7 so he played king to c3 and here actually i was not getting a proper plan at how to proceed so i tried with a slow move which is b6 so kind of defending like knight c5 or knight e6 ideas white knight can get a little activity and my plan might be like pushing the pawn over c5 and getting a good square on d4 so that i can hit this rook and try to do kind of tactically g5 or something later on so here my opponent tried to exchange the knight by playing knight to g3 so here i played a knight h4 of course i want to keep the knight he played rook to f1 <laughs> i went for knight to g2 and here again i was thinking that i am just winning the pawn on f4 but the there is a problem of the rook which is unprotected right now so he played knight to e2 so here what i saw that the variation i will play g5 so he has to play f5 and i will fork this knight and the pawn and after that i will capture it back so what i missed during the game is after this so white can simply play knight g3 or knight d4 whatever and this rook is unprotected and i am just losing an exchange so after seeing this variation it's not working i felt very disappointed so again i was not getting much of the things so okay i went for knight g2 after knight e2 so here i had to take a decision uh, otherwise if i just continue like this so white will just simply sit like this so his idea right now is knight to g rook g1 and hitting this pawn so i went for f g5 f5 and i did not go for knight e3 so here i played c5 stopping again the knight's activity by playing knight d4 knight e6 and also fixing the pawns so that the king cannot come over here like this so he went for knight to g3 <coughs> defending the pawn on f5 and here i played yeah king to d6 so this i feel is a quite a nice i felt nice move yeah because the king is simply coming towards this pawn and slowly i can just activate my rook over here and eventually i will put my knight on f4 and push h5 h4 hitting this knight over here and trying to capture the pawn later so which actually happened in the game so after king d6 he played rook to d1 check he gave a check first and i went king to e7 because king e5 is not possible because the rook will come to d7 and a lot of activity will get so i went for king e7 safe move yeah so after king e7 my opponent might have realized that okay why black is get slowly slowly getting the so initiative and trying to kill the pawn later so my opponent tried to create some counter play so he played b4 so which is a nice move i feel that he he have to create in some counter play and get entry to that side with the king because to attack those pawns otherwise i will simply capture this pawn knight f4 h4 so i captured it back he played king to b4 so i was a little confused of to keep this pawn structure or not so i thought of that okay if i don't capture then white will capture and this c5 pawn might be a pros trouble in the future so he can come knight e4 and try to hit this pawn so i tried i captured the pawn this and i went for my plan knight to f4 so my plan is clear i will play simply h5 and h4 and trying to remove the knight from here and capture the f5 pawn 
so here i was expecting him to play king to b5 so i play h5 then king to a6 and the game will be a thriller i think after h4 knight e4 rook f5 king a7 and i'm not so sure that what is the evaluation of this because i can feel that anything can happen okay maybe here i can play rook a5 king to b6 rook a2 knight g5 and then maybe rook h2 okay i think the position should end in a draw in a correct play but okay this might be a possibility but my opponent didn't realize the danger for him so he also didn't think much and quickly played here a4 which is of course not a good move so he is not getting the time actually to play king b5 and king a6 so i played h5 so now after h5 he thought of that okay h4 is coming and he is losing the pawn so he now played king to b5 so he actually played a very interesting option here i think the only option might be h4 i was i after he played king b5 i saw that what he is trying to do so after h4 now if he plays knight e4 there is no point actually i will simply capture the pawn with a check and if king a6 then i will rook a5 and also i can simply play g4 and it's just winning for black but my opponent here played a really nice move which is king a6 so he just simply ignored his knight and sacrificed it so i have to capture no options this this why you have to capture like you cannot save the a7 pawn right yeah yeah if i don't capture then black white just simply a7 b6 anything. everything falls yeah right? exactly a7 b6 so and the pawn will just roll to the board mm -hmm. and anyway he just left the knight here so he will not touch his knight over here so he will anyhow sacrifice the knight and i cannot defend this a7 b6 pawn yes and the rook is just simply doing a wonderful job cutting off the king mm -hmm. so i had to capture it and here i feel that i continued with my with the best continuation which is rook into f5 so i sacrifice the pawn in piece back so if i don't sacrifice it then my knight is only having one square which is knight to h5 just side of the board because knight e2 is not possible after rook e1 i will lose the knight so i have to play knight to h5 then here white will simply play g4 again attacking the knight let's say knight to f6 and after king a7 knight g4 king b6 and rook f5 i think might be white is winning because the knight is very far from the board and just the pawn is just rolling over the board and at least i feel white is not lose this position yeah it's quite difficult to defend with yeah black. exactly or even i can start with c5 also maybe c5 is the correct continuation c5 a5 so a lot of things will come and the king cannot defend so i did not go for this no variation so i saw a very interesting line with so i played rook into f5 sacrifice my piece back so here if he captures this one then i would play rook a5 king b7 and i would play g into f4 and this end game i would have tried if he went for this variation let's say rook d4 i can play f3 first because rook into f4 is not possible because he has a very intermediate move which is rook to e4 check the king cannot come over d6 because he is losing the rook by c5 so i have to just kind of go here and again he will try to give a check and like this the game might go so i would have played simply f3 here and okay this one if he play rook f4 then i can capture this rook f6 and i think i can try this for a win so this was my intention to sacrifice the piece so again he did not fall for this and he here played yeah he continued with king to a7 and i saw that i will play knight e6 king b6 and i played rook to f3 so i thought of that okay i will not lose at least this position draw is there in my hand any time so i continued with 
so here he played a nice move which is rook to d1 which is a great move just stopping the checks and now he is just rolled the pawn like this so here i felt that okay i have only option to play which is a very difficult move i think which is rook to f6 i am happy that i found it rook f6 just trying to disturb the king like th with this sixth rank otherwise i cannot even touch the king white white will just like play a5 a6 like this i can maybe play rook to f8 like this but anyhow i think same thing will happen again the rook will come over d1 and trying to just cut off the king so here i played rook to f6 my idea is to play knight d8 and get the king slowly so here he played uh, yeah here he played king to b5 so i went for king d7 he played rook to d1 and here i decided to go for king c7 only i was thinking to play king c8 so that my knight gets this square to check the king so okay i thought of to play king c7 later on because rook d6 end time can come okay so here my opponent went for rook d5 and okay i got a good chance of winning the game actually and i was completely winning but after a few of my inaccuracies the game actually ended in a draw shivan state senior or this event which one is uh, more precious to you yeah of course state senior okay why uh okay of course winning each own state is of course a very precious thing and of course that is senior state not any age group and of course i scored the full point that is also a very nice thing and i was i just uh, played quite a good game over there few games i would mention with utsav i played really nice game so i did not give him any kind of chance and eventually I won the tournament of course it's really happy who are you training with currently okay currently i don't have any trainer so i do on my own self study what's next for you okay next i will play the national senior which is in delhi on the month of december thank you shubhayan and uh, congratulations once again i wish you all the best in your future endeavors yeah, thank you